Okay, so the Nintendo Switch's operating system may not be the sleekest one ever. Oh, how I'll always love you, GameCube menu. But it's definitely fast and functional. Which, to be fair, are what matter most in an OS. And that's certainly a nice change of pace, literally coming from the Wii U sluggish OS. But even still, things can always be improved. And seeing as we now live in a time where operating systems are updated constantly, we decided to put together a list of the top 15 tweaks and additions that we would love to see made to Nintendo Switch's operating system. So let's get started. Listen, Nintendo, being aware of how much battery life your controllers have left is pretty important. So why the heck do I have to go out of my way to the controller screen just to see how much juice I have left? Why can't you just put a battery bar right next to the controller icon on the main menu? Just look at all that empty space, you have plenty of room. Speaking of battery life, Nintendo gets it when it comes to the Switch itself, allowing you to display the exact percentage remaining right on the home screen. That's useful. But with how variable the battery life can be changing game to game, I think they could take it a step further by providing an actual estimate of how much time you have left of the current game you're playing. Wouldn't it be a lot more useful to know that you have 30 minutes left to play Zelda instead of a more ambiguous 25% battery life left? At first, I kinda liked how easy it was to switch user accounts on the Nintendo Switch, as the system prompts you to choose which one to use whenever you access the eShop or start a game. Every. Single. Time. And now that I've done it literally hundreds of times in the past 6 weeks or so that I've had the Switch, it's starting to get a little bit tiring. Look, you already display every user account at the top of the home screen. Why not let us tap on one of them to choose an account, and then keep it until we want to change again? Problem solved! And it's still far easier and faster than most other game systems, so it's a win-win situation. Okay, so maybe this is more my bad than anything else for accidentally posting my friend code in a video, but when you have a few dozen friend invites coming in, it's a little annoying to go through them one by one to approve or deny them on an individual basis. Especially since this is probably the slowest part of the Switch UI. All I'm saying is it would be much appreciated if we could simply accept or deny every friend invite at once. The Nintendo Switch's eShop is fine, I guess, but it feels a little unrefined, especially on the TV, where it looks cramped with text and icons far bigger than they need to be, and then there's also the weird slowdown that happens whenever the icons change sizes. Oh, and having to re-enter my credit card information every time I want to buy something is super annoying. And it's especially weird considering you could save it on the 3DS and Wii U, so why not here? I just want to give you my money, Nintendo, it shouldn't be this hard! Nintendo, it's time to bring back the activity log. Look, I'll be the first to admit it's something I never thought I'd miss. But now that it's gone, I kind of want it back. And the weird thing is, the Switch already clearly tracks your game activity as you can see some of it on your own or your friend's user profiles. You just can't see all of it. So come on Nintendo, we know you have the means, let's see all the details for ourselves. I love how easy it is to take snapshots. Click. There it is. And it's pretty easy to share on social media too, but it could be even easier. As is, you have to snap the pic, then click home, navigate to the album, and then reselect the picture so you can share it. So what I propose is that instead, if you press home right after taking a snapshot, say within 2 or 3 seconds, it should take you right to that picture in the album, from which point you can even more easily share it. Speaking of sharing pictures, I want more control over them. Being able to crop, zoom, and rotate would be a great start. And some more font options would be a great addition too. It really shouldn't take me 10 minutes to add rainbow color text to my picture about double rainbows. Okay, I know Nintendo has said video recording is coming eventually, but that doesn't change the fact that I want this feature since, like, yesterday. And I know exactly how it should be implemented too. Just hold the snapshot button down for a second or two to start recording, then again to end it. Then combine that with my previous snapshot shortcut suggestion, only this time for sharing to YouTube, and I'll be set. So simple, much fun. I really do like how easy it is to share pictures of social media from the Nintendo Switch. And yet, it's a little odd that I can't access the very things that I or anyone else shares from the Switch itself. What I'm getting at is that I would love for there to be a friend feed where you can see exactly what your friends are saying from their Switch on your own Switch. Hey, that sounds a little bit like Miiverse, doesn't it? The Wii and Wii U spoiled me when it comes to keyboards. The Wii because the pointer controls made typing slightly less tedious, and the Wii U because it was even better giving you a full keyboard on the touchscreen. Which, granted, the Switch has too, but only in handheld form. Because when it's docked, it's right back to the old school hunting and pecking method. And that kind of sucks. 
So instead, I think a good solution would be to add a cursor that's controlled with a gyroscope, mimicking how the pointer worked on the Wii. Heck, there's already an optional cursor in some parts of the Switch's OS. Just make a motion control instead and we'd be set. Alright, so this is a super minor thing, but there's something missing when I turn on my Nintendo Switch. It goes right to this boring ass lock screen and then to the home screen. For comparison, the very first time you turn on the Switch, you're treated to a cool little animation of the Switch logo clicking into place and then opening like a gate to heaven. But you never see it again! Why not? It's like the animation died and went to heaven itself. I'm not saying I need that every time the Switch comes back from sleep mode, but it'd be cool to see that every time it started up from a cold boot. Selecting a game on the Nintendo Switch should be better. The row of icons isn't the worst thing ever, but it's not terribly convenient when you can only ever see a handful of games at once, with you having to scroll past each one to find the one you're looking for. Oh, and if you have more than 12 games, there's a good chance the one you're looking for won't even be on the main screen at all, forcing you instead to go to the end of the line and selecting the All Software screen instead. Hey, wait a second, this screen's way better! Why isn't this on the home screen? Hey Nintendo, make that an option. So, as it turns out, there's no way to back up your save files on Nintendo Switch. They're locked to your system. And that's a problem, because there have already been reports of people sending in their Switches for repair and then getting it back with everything cleared out. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to keep that 100 plus hour save file for Zelda? Well, too bad. That is simply unacceptable in this day and age. Which is why the Nintendo Switch needs cloud saving, where all your saves are automatically backed up online, so that you can retrieve them from whichever Switch you decide to log in from. Hell, Nintendo already does this with their mobile games like Super Mario Run and Mitomo, so they clearly have the know-how. Now, of course, I understand that cloud saving would be costly to run, so I wouldn't expect it to be free. But it might make Nintendo's online subscription service coming this fall a bit more compelling, don't you think? Now, despite all of the suggestions so far, I really do like the Switch's UI. Except, the whole thing's just a little bit bare-looking, isn't it? It doesn't quite have the warmth or charm of Nintendo's past OS's. Which means, this is the perfect opportunity to bring back the custom themes from the Nintendo 3DS. Now granted, I didn't think much of them back then, but now that the Switch has a big beautiful screen that you can dock to put on an even bigger screen, it's something that I'd appreciate far more this time around. Especially with how socially inclined the Switch is compared to the 3DS. Look, Nintendo, all I'm saying is if you give me a custom Moo Moo Metals theme that plays that amazing music, I will give you all the money. Just as long as I don't have to re-enter my credit card number one more time. So there you have it, the top 15 tweaks I'd like to see added to the Nintendo Switch's UI and operating system. But what do you think? What would you like to see added? Let us know by posting in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on the Nintendo Switch and other things gaming too. Catch you later, bye.